The mission of the Department of Defense Education Activity is to inspire and prepare its students for success in a dynamic global environment. DODIA's Partial Immersion Program does just that. Our target language at the Japanese partial immersion program here at Kadeen Elementary School is, of course, Japanese. And um, math lends itself very well to the immersion model of uh, teaching language because the concepts are visual. The goals of the program are, first of all, of course, serve as a classroom that teaches the children the Dodea standards. We want to make sure we're meeting all the regular standards, and then on top of that, our other goal is to give them opportunities to be immersed in Japanese as much as possible within different parts of the curriculum so we can teach them uh, varying amounts of Japanese at each grade level. When students are steeped in language and they have to express their thinking in the content areas, their thinking must be very focused in order for them to okay. articulate the in the language. Their achievement in the content area is certainly increased by that strenuous articulation they must do in the language. So achievement in language comes up and achievement in the content area also comes up. Today we're wrapping up a chapter in math that deals with the multiplication of decimal numbers and whole numbers and decimals and decimals and also they were introduced to exponents. So um, we're going to actually review in Japanese the skills that we've learned in math in Japanese. In math we're learning um, how to multiply and subtract and add decimals and we're doing normal stuff but we're saying it in Japanese. We oftentimes get uh, a lot of uh, Japanese teachers uh, that come to our school because they're tasked with starting English immersion programs in their schools and they kind of want to know how to do it and, and so they come and they take a tour and uh, so I use uh, many of our Japanese partial immersion students as tour guides. Uh, because of the of the language translation and uh, difficulties, they, they can be great assets. What makes partial immersion stand out as an effective way to acquire a foreign language? It's a lot uh, more efficient at giving kids an understanding of the culture than other forms of just regular language instruction or cultural instruction because they actually are forced to try and think, you know, in the Japanese environment. Like when I speak to them in Japanese, sometimes I introduce new topics just straight out in Japanese and they have to, you know, uh, struggle to understand what I'm saying. And then once they get it, they're doing it in Japanese. Dodia currently offers partial immersion programs in German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, and Spanish. In each partial immersion program, about half of the instructional day is conducted in the target language. One of DODIA's core goals is to ensure that all students meet or exceed challenging standards in academic content, so they are prepared for continuous learning in the 21st century. For students in DODIA's partial immersion program, the academic challenges don't end when the bell rings. It's a fantastic program for these children here because we live in Japan. They're surrounded by Japanese culture all the time. When their language, Japanese language skills, are enforced by the content areas, when they leave the classroom and emerge in the Japanese culture, they are very articulate because they have functional Japanese. And in doing so, they really become ambassadors for the United States because the Japanese really appreciate Americans who will understand and use their language. And we have these students who do that very, very well. Learning math in Japanese is quite an accomplishment. 
How do you integrate Japanese culture? For the culture, uh, Japanese teachers that I know from uh, other, other schools off base will visit our classroom and I'll give my students a chance to interact with Japanese students face-to-face uh, -face in our room. We also um, engage in some off-base activities with Japanese students. Uh, I bring my uh, students to a UNESCO-sponsored event where they get to uh, cook and, pl and play with Japanese students in Japanese. That's uh, one of my favorite ways to get them to, to do the cultures face-to-face -face with other kids doing something that's inherently interesting and fun. Yeah, it's fun to learn Japanese and math because then I can kind of communicate in numbers to other people. Dodia schools often work with the local community, cultivating connections and experiences to extend the learning. In this district, we have many, many, many partnerships. All of our schools, 13 schools on the island, have more than one partnership with, uh, with many kinds of organizations and individual Japanese schools. We work on our partnerships all the time because if you're going to be in a foreign culture, we want our students to experience that completely. Our society is increasingly global. In our military schools, we deal with uh, much more well-traveled, much more worldly population of children than average. It, it allows them uh, inroads into a second language or maybe a third language for some of these kids that later on will help them learn other languages or become more fluent in the one that we're using now, Japanese. So I think it gives them an opportunity to grow as a global citizen in this age. So this. Okay, dozo, you have to go inside. You can find out more about Dodia's partial immersion program by contacting the Dodia Foreign Language Department.